Hey mamas, Alexandria here, 34 year old toddler mom, therapist, and gym rat. I lost nearly 40 pounds postpartum and it changed my life. So now my goal is to help other mamas and other women to be the best versions of themselves. So I just attended Creators and Friends here in Las Vegas. And so I thought it would be fun to film a get ready with me uh, just because I'm getting ready to go out and see some stuff. And this is sort of my mom on the go makeup when I want to look put together, but I don't want to take a lot of time. And while I do that, my plan is to answer the most commonly asked fitness questions that I get on a daily -day basis. Anytime I talk to someone about my weight loss journey or my fitness, these are the questions that they have. And if you have other questions, I would love for you to leave them in the comments and I could do a whole other video or I can answer them for you in the comments. So if you guys are ready, well, let's do it. Number six, y'all. Number six. That, that's the one. Be on the lookout for that question. So today I'm going to get ready with you guys and this is one of my go-to ways to make like a look put together like super fast. So what I'll use is this particular palette doesn't exist anymore. This is the Benefit Cheek the Mail. All of the products inside do still exist. But what I will do is I will use this for both eyes and I'll use it for my cheeks, which is what it's intended for. And so everything just looks a little more like cohesive very easily. So I know I'm gonna tell you that up front because if you don't care, you can just fast forward to when I get to the questions. But this is primarily what I'm using and I'll pop pictures like as we go of other products that I'm using because I won't really be talking much about those. My primary conversation will be around these fitness questions. So, um, all right. So the first question that I get asked is what kind of workouts do you do? So for me, I get this question, I don't know, this is probably like the second most asked question. And I'm gonna do an entire video about this because I think that it would be super helpful. But I primarily work out with Caroline Gervan here on YouTube. She also has an app. Um, she also has an app as well, which I have used a little bit, but not a ton. I'm having to use you guys as my viewfinder, I apologize. Um, so if I'm not looking at you, it's because I am, I have to be able to see to put on the makeup and I don't really have another, I don't really have another way to do that, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so, but I work out with Caroline Gervan here on YouTube and she is a weightlifting channel. So Caroline Gervain is a weightlifting YouTube channel and she primarily, you know, it is primarily weightlifting, but depending upon the program, it may include some HIT or some sort of um, other types of workouts. That's why I think it's really important. I'm gonna go through and like basically talk through her entire programming series on YouTube for you guys. So be on the lookout for that. If that's like a burning question for you, and you've got lots of questions, uh, that'll be a great video for you because I'm gonna break down each series, what it is, how long it is, and sort of like who I think each program is right for. So be on the lookout for that. It's coming very soon. I'll be filming that when I get back from Las Vegas. So I finally am ready to do that because I have completed, well, I haven't completed every series, but I have done every single series. There's only one series that I haven't done all of, and that's um, one of her earlier ones. And I just did a couple of weeks of it so I could tell you guys about it, but it's phenomenal. Um, so I'm very excited about that video because I have had the opportunity to do every single, every single program that she offers on YouTube. And so I have a lot to say. And I have found that, you know, this time around losing weight, uh, like using weightlifting has been far more effective than when I was trying to utilize just cardio or just Zumba which before I had my son, that was sort of like what I was doing as I was sort of like half a, <laughs> oh, sorry, kids are probably around, so I'm trying to do the lies, you might feel that. Um, you know, I was sort of like half a, you know, doing Zumba workouts one day a week. And so I definitely think that strength training is the way to go. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I love to strength train, so. The next question, what kind of diet are you on? So this is another question that I get a ton. And I'm not on a diet, on a diet. The thing is, is that diets don't work. Like if you, because a lot of times when people think about diets, they're talking about like a keto or some sort of like fasting or some sort of like 
I don't even know. There's so much out there, man. And that stuff is just not sustainable. You know, it's just, I would love to tell you that there's like a quick, easy fix for like diet and stuff, but there just isn't. You know, when, when you're trying to lose weight, you have to be able to sustain whatever the thing is for the rest of your life. And so like, that's why keto and stuff, it may work from a like lower caloric intake perspective, but like long term, like I can't imagine not eating pasta for the rest of my life. That's like the saddest thing I've ever heard. Okay, not the saddest thing, but like that makes me feel sad. So like there's, there's just no way that I could like go my entire life without eating pasta. Okay. And so, you know, diets don't work and you really do have to find ways to make whatever you're doing the most sustainable for you. And that sustainability and that consistency is what's going to keep you uh, moving forward to, to your goals. I can't talk. I've been talking too much while I've been here. Um, so I want this to be a little bit darker. Um, so the other when this is really more of like a commenty kind of thing that happens for me is I get the wait you eat x food so like maybe we circle back to pasta right I eat all the foods because what happens when you don't eat all the foods is that suddenly those like off limits foods become like the best thing ever like I need this I gotta have this and if you do that to yourself, you're just going to want it more and you're just going to suffer. So it doesn't make sense to, you know, put yourself on this like, well, I can have this food, but not this food. It's kind of like circling back to diets, right? Like if you give yourself the opportunity to uh, like not, if you don't give yourself the opportunity to have those foods, your body's just going to crave them even more. And so when you do have them, then you're putting yourself at risk for like a potential binge um, because you, you haven't eaten them in such a long time or like they feel like a cheat, a cheat food. Oh, I hate that phrase. Uh, and so then you're like, oh, well, I can't have, I don't know, I can't have cookies for another like six weeks. So, you know, why, um, why would I... Um, you know, so why <clears throat> my brain stopped working, <laughs> you know, if I can't have cookies for like, if I decide I can't have cookies, like then every time I eat one, I'm like, oh, but so precious, you know? And so, yes, I eat all the foods. I drink all the beverages, you know, like that is a personal choice. But again, it goes back to that, that balance for me. Everything is in moderation. Everything is about finding a balance. And, and that's one of them. So. Yes, I eat pasta. Yes, I eat cookies. Like, you really don't have to list anything down below because I eat it all. Number four. Aren't you worried you'll get bulky? Oh, man. This question, y'all, it makes me want to, like, punch something. I don't, but I think about it. No! <laughs> Sorry. Okay. But in all seriousness, though, I just... I, I can't get behind this question because, like, as moms... We let we lift these heavy children all the time. My son is like, my son is almost four, and the child weighs 35 pounds, right? Like, he is not light. And so I see all these, like, moms carting their children around, carrying them around the grocery store because you know they won't get in the cart because, God forbid, they get in the cart. Um, Y'all, I still love this foundation so much. It's really old. They discontinued it and brought it back. But it's just, it's just so freaking good. I don't, I don't understand. And it's so cheap anyway but <clears throat> but I don't like I just I don't understand that like how are you gonna lift your kid and finagle them all over the place but then sorry friends I'm filming on my phone so I can only film in 10 minute increments because I could not bring my giant camera with me there just wasn't room uh, <clears throat> and you know I just I don't understand how people can be like, oh, well, I'm going to take my, you know, 35 pound toddler or 60 pound toddler even, right? Like cart them around the store because they won't get in the darn cart. But then it's like, oh, but you know, I don't want to lift heavy because I don't want to be bulky. 
that's not how that's not how weightlifting works <laughs> weightlifting is about changing your body composition and helping your body to build muscle helps to give you more calorie burn at rest you know you are increasing that basal metabolic rate i can't talk today you're increasing your basal metabolic rate and so when you do that that means you burn more calories at rest the way you get bulky has much more to do with like intense protein intake and it it takes a lot for our bodies to to get to that place so just lifting weights what, what is this hair doing <laughs> it takes um, you know, it takes a lot for our bodies to get to that place. And so I think that it's a little silly to be worried about that, to be honest. Um, but that's, you know, okay. I'm gonna get off my soapbox now. All right, number five. How long did it take you to lose the weight? Okay, I get it. I understand this question because I think there's this thing in our minds that we worry if we don't do it fast enough or we don't start to see progress I'm sitting here over here about to open the wrong thing. I'm gonna leave it. it we, we get to this place where we, we get in our heads and we're like, well, but if I'm not, you know, if I'm not seeing results in X weeks, it must not be working or, you know, things like that. And I get it because, you know, time is like one of the, if not the most like precious commodities that we have because our time on earth is limited, you know? And <clears throat> it's one of those like so, sort of double-edged swords because the problem is, is that if we get in the headspace of like, well, I need to lose X pounds in X window of time, then, you know, we get, we get defeated. But the thing is, is that the weight loss, you know, the consistency over time is what will keep you and sustain you from a weight loss perspective. So I didn't even answer the question. I didn't even answer the question. How long did it take me? Okay, so um, if you've watched my story, you um, you will know this already, but I'll link it if you wanna see it. I probably linked it at the start of the video. I don't know. It'll be linked somewhere so you can go watch it after this. But if you wanna you know, see my weight loss story. And I, um, it so I decided to work out first and then pivot my diet. If I had it to do all over again, I would probably, you know, try to find a way to do both at the same time. But at the time, trying to do both at the same time just felt too overwhelming for me. And so because of that, I was like, all right, we're going to start and be consistent with the exercise first, and then we'll add in the nutrition component. And like I said, I do wish that I had done it differently because I think people get, I think people get the wrong impression that the, the nutrition is really hard and it doesn't have to be that hard. Uh, it doesn't have to be as complicated as people make it. And so when I did, my brain stopped working again. This is the problem with putting on makeup and talking to you at the same time. <laughs> So when I was losing weight, I did the exercise component first. And even with that, I was able to lose about 15-ish, I think, pounds in about like a six-month window of time because I was like, my body was being like re recompositioned. Is that a word? That doesn't sound right. Because recomposition was occurring and because I was like, lifting weights and also like doing hit i was still losing weight is my point um i just wasn't seeing the benefits of what i was doing because i wasn't prioritizing my like my food habits hopefully that made sense <clears throat> and so because of that that was like the first sort of like 10 or 12 maybe 15 pounds but then i decided to uh purchase new after I had been doing that, because I was like, okay, I'm consistent, I'm good, like this feels good. So I decided to purchase Noom and I did Noom for six months. And with that, I was able to lose about 20 pounds. So all total, like basically a year, but the bulk of the weight that I lost and the reason I look like I do today is was around a six month time period. But that was consistently eating you know, in a calorie deficit as well as exercising.
So, but I think the important thing is that everybody's body is different. So, you know, what works for you and what feels good for you might look different than somebody else. And that's okay. Like just because Susie lost 30 pounds in two weeks doesn't mean you have to or that you should. And if you're losing weight fast, you probably are doing things that are not going to be sustainable for your body long term. So the, the best thing you can do is just to be consistent. Be consistent with whatever it is that you've decided that you're going to do. And there's a lot of nuance to that. And I could, you know, I could dive deeper, but I'm already talking way too much. Also, if you love this kind of content and you want a supportive mom friend, not the judgy kind, the supportive kind, I would love if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel and then leave me a comment and say hello because I want to say hello to you. I want to meet you. I want to be your friend. Like that is why I'm on YouTube is to have a community of moms that care about themselves and, you know, care about their kids and stuff. I, don't, I mean, I don't know any moms that don't care about their kids. But anyway, my point is I want to create a community of like non-judgy mom friends who want to help each other. So if you want non-judgy mom friends, please subscribe and comment and say hello so I can say hello back because I want to talk to you. Okay, moving on. Number six, here it is, this one. How do you have time to work out? How do you have time to work out? All right, you want the good news or the bad news first? Now, I hate to tell you this, but the good news and the bad news are the same. You get to decide. It's, it really is all about priorities. So for me, and again, I know every schedule is different, every mom is different, you know, I have a child. And while that is time consuming, I know that the more children you have, the more time consuming it can be. And so, you know, you have to decide what your priorities are and nobody can do that for you. You have to decide, you know, what is important to you. And if your health matters to you and your fitness matters to you, then you'll make the time, whether that be at nap time, whether that be before your child gets up in the morning, um, even if you have an early riser, you know, that may mean after your kid goes to bed, although that sort of messes with your sleep. Sorry, friends, I had to move the camera because my mom called and I have to call her back. But anyway, as I was saying, you know, you I finished my eyebrows in that time. So uh, you have to decide, you know, what works for your schedule, but what's important to you. So my husband for his work schedule, what works for him is getting up and going to the gym at like 530 in the morning. He gets He's more dedicated than me. <laughs> no, I mean, if I had to do it, I would do it because it's important to me. It matters to me to get my workouts in. And right now, what works for my schedule is to, you know, work out at my son's nap time. But he's also about to be like not napping anymore. So uh, I may be working out while he's at school. Um, that's most likely what we'll pivot. I will pivot to is I will probably start working out when he's at school uh, because I don't. I'm probably going to go back to work like part time rather than full-time for now because I want to be able to volunteer um, at his little preschool especially if he's he's gonna be I'm not ready y'all he's about to go to school like he's about to be there like all the time I'm gonna miss him what the heck this sucks okay anyway I'm sorry um <laughs> so that being said I will most likely because of that I will most likely pivot my workout schedule to be while he's at school but my point being is that it doesn't really matter. You're the one who has to decide like, yeah, this is what's important to me. So this is what I'm going to make time for. So, and you know, my house is probably not as clean as yours. I can almost guarantee it. I could use to clean a little more, <laughs> but I spend my time exercising instead when I could be cleaning. And because that matters more to me than looking like I have Martha Stewart's house. So there's that. All right, sorry, I've been very ranty. I apologize. All right, I wrote six and then eight. Seven. Number seven, what supplements do you take? So I really don't take a lot in the way of supplements. I will occasionally, I had to find eyeliners and mascaras. <clears throat> I don't take a lot of supplements. I occasionally will drink a pre-workout if I'm like dragging butt. But that's really, you know, occasionally I'll drink some greens and really the primary like supplement I use is just protein shakes. And that's just to make sure that I'm getting an adequate amount of protein to build muscle. And so I'll typically drink a protein shake or eat some sort of like protein bar after my workouts. I really like, 
I think Ghost is probably my favorite protein, but there's there's a lot of really good ones out there. The Dimatize is really good. Just honestly, whatever tastes good. <laughs> so that's pretty much it in terms of, you know, like supplements. I don't take anything else. And you don't need a pre-workout. And especially like I did a whole beginner's video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it for you. But, you know, in my beginner's video, I talk about like, don't start with supplements. You know, don't be starting with pre-workout. Like what you need from the pre is the caffeine. So, you know, don't start there. Because if you start there, then you get addicted to having to take pre-workout in order to, you know, survive a workout. And you don't want to be, you don't want to be stuck there, you know. So, keep that in mind. Number eight. Eight, yes. It says nine, but it's eight. Do you, do you slash did you use Ozempic? And this one's like a really popular question right now. I think just because like it's become such a popularized thing for weight loss. And I don't know a ton about Ozempic. I do have, without getting into detail, I do have a family member on Ozempic for it's like legitimized purposes, not for weight loss purposes. And my experience from seeing them is that it sucks. <laughs> it does. I, I mean, it sounds like... I get the impression that you feel pretty crappy when you're using it. And so, no, I didn't use Ozempic. I don't, I don't believe in using like stuff like that to lose weight uh, for me personally. But, you know, again, everybody's different. I just, you really have to be careful with stuff like that, right? Because I don't know what the side effects are from that. So I, if it were me, uh, which it is me, but you know, if, if I were you, <laughs> um, Unless you like need Ozempic because you're a diabetic, I don't think that you should take Ozempic for weight loss. But I'm not a registered dietitian, so you know, talk to your dietitian and you know, you have to make the choices that are right for you. But that's just my opinion on the matter. And well, you didn't ask, but you did ask by watching this video. So <laughs> there we go. And then the last one is how many calories do you eat? So that is a varied question and I honestly I debated on if I wanted to include it in this video because it's one of those things where like everybody is different you aren't me and so my calorie intake and what's appropriate for my body is not necessarily going to be appropriate for you so like for me when I was in the weight loss journey piece I need to put on lipstick but I can't talk and do that at the same time uh so I'm just going to talk to you for a second <clears throat> but when I was losing weight and I was primarily doing Noom, they had me living in like, I want to say a 13 to 1500 calorie budget, which again, if I had it to do all over again, there are some things I would change, but I was living in a 13 to 1500 calorie budget. And because of that, uh, you know, I was, because I'm, I'm not very big. I don't make five feet tall, but if you're five, eight, or you're like five, 10, you know, your calorie budget is going to be different than mine. So you have to do it based on your activity level and based on, you know, what you're already eating. And so I've said this in other videos, but I'll say it again in case you are not familiar or you're new here, but eat, track what you're eating first and then start cutting back your calories. See what you're eating on a regular basis first, because especially if you're new to this, you could surprise yourself of the benefits of just cutting a small percentage of your calories. So keep that in mind. And, you know, so for me, like I said, right now I'm in maintenance. And so that's for me, typically around 1700 ish calories, but I'm also still training five days a week. I'm still trying to build some muscle. And so that's where I am. And then in January, I'm probably going to do another cut, um, cut. I'm probably going to go back into a deficit, uh, to try to build my abs again. And I'm going to take you guys along with me if you want to see it. So. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you have other questions that I missed. Oh, I guess I should put on my lipstick. This is the Ravy Beauty. We got these from the Creators event. These things, y'all, I just got these and I just tried them, but they are the most freaking comfortable. They're like, they feel like lip balm, y'all. They're so pretty. They're so smooth. Can you see this? It's ridiculous. This is the shade Lily. So, all right, I've talked way too long. This is going to be a very fun video to edit. <laughs> all right, my friends, so that is going to do it. Like I said, I'm going to I'm going to take you along with me in January 
uh, when I do my cut. So if you want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. Also, hit the thumbs up if you loved this video and if you want me to do Get Ready With Me's in the future again because this was fun. So thank you all so much for watching and YouTube should be recommending something else to you they think you'll love and I hope you love it too. So bye guys.